Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. He's not the most marquee free agent the Steelers have, but he's the one I'm most interested in watching this offseason, linebacker Robert Spillane, one of several Steelers pending free agents at inside linebacker joining Devin Bush and Marcus Allen. He's sort of an in-betweener. He's not out the door like Bush will be, and he isn't a shrug of the shoulders like Allen, a fine special teamer but not a defensive piece and someone who can be replaced without serious issue. It's more likely than not Spillane returns, but what will his role be? Pittsburgh has routinely tried to take away his playing time. Spillane was in line to start in 2021 when Vince Williams retired on the eve of training camp. Just before camp broke, the team decided to trade for Joe Schobert. Spillane went back to third fiddle. This offseason, with Schobert gone, Spillane again was in starting position, but the team signed Miles Jack to a $16 million deal early in free agency, again sending Spillane to the bench. Every time they have, he's wiggled his way back into the lineup, and by year's end, he was the team's every down linebacker. Not pedigree guys like Bush and Jack, it was the undrafted Bob Spillane the team trusted the most. So, let's assume he's re-signed. Will he be cemented as the starter, or will the team again look at door number two? You could argue inside linebacker is still a need, even with him and promising rookie Mark Robinson. Will the team take another swing at the inside linebacker free agency pool and go after a Tremaine Edmonds or a lighter swing in, say, Tennessee's David Long? Would they look towards the high pick in the draft? Iowa's Jack Campbell would sure fit. Have the Steelers given in and decided that despite their best efforts to push him aside, Spillane is their guy? Or are they still making the calculation he won't ever be a top linebacker, just a steady one, and an upgrade is needed? It'll be really interesting to see what happens with not just him, but the focus of the inside linebacker room. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.